You like what, what's your favorite time of the year for the town square? Is it the flowers? Or? Um, spring. Yeah. Spring. I love it when everything comes alive. I love I, and when the dogwood trees bloom. I don't think there's a prettier place in the world to to drive through downtown in early spring. Well, we're very pleased to uh, that they have been uh, selected as one of the charming must-see town squares, and will be featured in the Tennessee Vacation Guide, which is due out in February. And um, so uh, we're real excited about that. Uh, we have a, uh, a lady here in town, Sandy Otto, who does a wonderful job of keeping those uh, for the different seasons and works really hard to keep the downtown beautiful. And so I guess we kind of got to give her uh, a lot of the credit for that. But, uh, um, and, you know, it, we do have one of the most beautiful town squares. We've got the four squares that, that has the grassy area plus the, the additional planning that gets, goes in there. So, so we're really pleased that we got chosen as that and uh, just another draw to get people to come to our community. Well, they were actually um, um, designated by uh, Joseph Rogers when he laid out the town squares, or laid out the town, uh, and they were designated. They can, they always have to stay a grassy area. They can't ever be anything built on them uh, any more than what was. So, um, and that was when he actually, um, I think he was an engineer, if I'm not mistaken, or a surveyor, and he laid out the squares and, and made a designation that they always had to stay that way. I think he just um, realized the beauty of the downtown area and wanted to make sure that, that it was always there. They did a lot of selling and trading then, so they needed that space. Um, sometimes they even, um, you know, it was fenced in there for a while, and uh, they even uh, did some cattle sales and stuff in there. So. So uh, just a, a space that could be used by the citizens of the community. The biggest thing has just been featured in the vacation guide. There's uh -huh. 100,000 of those uh, or more put out and mm -hmm. they go, they're, they're global, they go everywhere. And so being able to, for a small town like Rogersville to be featured, um, mm -hmm. our town squares to be featured, we think it'll draw a lot of attention to our downtown. Uh, I think they've got some beautiful photographs there and, and to see and, and draw people into the downtown. Because we have, you know, I'm a little prejudiced, but I think we've got one of the most beautiful downtowns, uh, maintained downtowns in the state of Tennessee.